Godmother, what a wonderful evening I had. I do thank you so much. It was really lovely. Do you think I could go back to the ball tomorrow night? The prince asked me to see him again. Of course you may, my dear. As long as you promise to come back before midnight. Of course I'll come back before midnight. You know, the prince asked me to open the ball with him. Did he really? Yes, he did. And the orchestra played beautiful waltzes. And all the ladies at the ball were really beautiful. Do you know that you were really beautiful as well? Yes, you were really beautiful, my dear. I'm sure you were the queen of the ball. Oh, fairy godmother. The prince said I was. Cinderella! Here are your sisters. Come over here quickly. I must give you your old ugly clothes again. There you are. You're really late in coming back. Who oh, sleep? If you'd come to the ball, you wouldn't have wanted to go to sleep. The most beautiful princess came to the ball. The most beautiful person I'd ever seen. She was very, very polite to us. She even gave us some chocolates that the prince had given her. What was the princess called? Nobody knew her name. She went away so suddenly. Upset. Yes. He said he would give anything in the world to know who she was. Oh, my goodness, I would like to have seen her. You would like to have seen her? Dressed as you are. Oh, please, lend me the old dress that you put on every day. Perhaps I could go to the ball in that. Lend my yellow dress? Ah, oh, do you think I'm mad? Lend my yellow dress to you? Stupid little cinders. Oh, never in this world. The following day, the two sisters went to the ball again. So did Cinderella. And this time, she looked even more beautiful. Prince Charming didn't leave her for a minute. You are even more beautiful than you were yesterday. Your Highness, you are really too kind. But I assure you, you are the most beautiful person in the world. When you look at me, I feel that I am pierced to my very heart. I never stop thinking about you. When you are there, I am happy. Oh, sir, I mean your highness. But what is wrong with you, my princess? There are tears in your eyes. Let me gather those diamonds. Oh, it is nothing. Come, we'll go and dance. <laughs> Cinderella, lost in her happiness, had forgotten what the fairy godmother had told her. Suddenly, she heard midnight striking, and she started to run away as lightly as a fairy. Prince Charming followed her, but he couldn't catch up with her. As she was going out of the door, Cinderella left one of her glass slippers behind. Prince Charming picked it up and kept it carefully, close to his heart. Cinderella arrived home out of breath and dressed in her old rags again. Nothing was left of all the magnificent clothes and the coach and the servants. Nothing was left. That is, except one glass slipper, the partner of the one she had left behind at the ball. However, at the palace... God! Yes, Your Highness. Did you see a princess go out of here a little while ago? No, no, nobody's left here. Oh, nobody, that is, except a young girl, a very badly dressed girl who was running, Your Highness. She looked more like a peasant than a lady of the court. must have won too much champagne. <laughs> poor Cinderella. Well, I don't know why I say poor Cinderella. You're very lucky. You spent your nights peacefully. I can see you've had a good time. 
Was the beautiful princess there again? Yes, of course she was. But she left very hurriedly at midnight. As she was hurrying away, she lost one of her glass slippers. The prince picked it up and he kept it close to him for the rest of the ball. <laughs> he must surely be very much in love with the owner of the slipper. A few days later. Mr. Miller, open the window. There's the King's Herald. He's going to announce something. By the order of the King, His Majesty wishes the population of this country to know that his son, the heir to the throne, will marry immediately the young girl who can wear the glass slipper that was found by the prince at the last ball given by His Majesty. As a result of this order, one of the King's courtiers has been appointed to take the slipper into the houses of all the noble young ladies in the country. Oh, do you think one of us has got a chance? I'm not very sure, but I do know this. My foot is certainly smaller than yours. That's what you think. <laughs> All the ladies of the court tried to put on the glass slipper, but it was all in vain. Finally, the slipper was taken to the house of the two ugly sisters, and each of them tried as hard as she could to force her foot into the slipper, but without any success. Oh, no, I really can't. It's impossible. Let me try again. I'm sure I can get my foot in if I try hard enough. <sighs> Oh, no. I'm very sorry, but I'm sure there's no use in your trying again. Do you think I might be allowed to try? <laughs> but you must be mad. Very very Cinderella. Cinderella. I'm very sorry, ladies, but I've been given orders that every young girl in the country should try on this slipper. Would you be kind enough to sit down? Thank you. Oh, oh. oh look, her foot goes into the slipper without any at all. Why, you've got the smallest foot I've ever seen, miss. And the slipper fits you perfectly. Well, I never. The two sisters were very surprised when Cinderella took the other slipper out of her pocket and put it on the other foot. Then the fairy godmother arrived. She touched Cinderella once again with the magic wand and this time Cinderella's clothes were even more magnificent than ever. Then it was you who were the beautiful princess at the ball, Cinderella. I really am terribly sorry for all the horrible things I did to you. I really am sorry. Please forgive me. Get up, the two of you. There's no need for you to stay on your knees like that. I forgive you with all my heart. Let's forget about all that now. Cinderella was taken to Prince Charming's palace and he found that she was more beautiful than ever. A few days afterwards, he married her. Cinderella was just as kind as she was beautiful and she brought her two sisters to the palace and very soon they were married to two noblemen of the court. Mm -hmm. 